Now that more of a comparative frame has been developed, how do we see the diaspora in the United States differently? Hmm. Well, that is a very good question. Um, for me, one of the primary differences is going to be um, the greater possibility for Afro-Latin Americans to participate in the mainstream institutions of Latin American life as compared to the very strong ex exclusion of Africans and African Americans from the main institutions of North American life. For example, in the area of religion. Um, the Catholic Church in Latin America has as part of its mission the evangelization, the conversion, um, the turning of Africans and their descendants into faithful Catholics. In the United States, there's certainly the mission to make Africans into Christians, but not necessarily to have them worshiping in the same, in the same churches and the same denominations as white people. And this is the case across a series of institutions in, in colonial militias, for example. In Latin America, the Spanish and Portuguese both made extensive use of, of free black troops and even during moments of military crisis, even slave troops. And these folks get official commissions from the crowns of Spain and Portugal. Um, this is much more rarely the case in the United States. And then um, after independence, the question of whether black people are even going to be admitted into national armies is a major issue in the U.S., mm -hmm. whereas in Latin America, it's simply assumed that they're going to be part of those armies. This is the case in mainstream political parties, or armies, rather. This is the case in mainstream political parties that tend to be uh, completely racially integrated. It's the case in labor unions. Um, in institution after institution, the possibilities for black participation in Latin America are considerably greater, which means that then the incentive to create racially defined separate black movements is much less in Latin America than it is in the U.S. But it's not non-existent. That tendency is not zero. You still get uh, black religious organizations, especially those connected to African religious traditions. You still get black mutual aid societies, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. like you get Italian immigrant mutual aid societies and Spanish, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you get black civic organizations, you get a black press, a significant black press, just like in the United States, in Argentina, in Brazil, in Cuba, in Uruguay, and so on. So while the tendency toward a separate um, racial mode of organization is less in Latin America, it's not zero.